If I ask any one of you which NVIDIA GPUs support CUDA, you're probably going to be able to answer that pretty simply. Now, most of you probably don't have the list memorized, but you're going to go to a search engine, search for something like NVIDIA GPU CUDA support, something like that, and you'll come across this page. This is a really helpful page, breaks it down based on data center, Quadro, NVS, GeForce, and you can see every single product and what versions they support. Now, what if I ask you to do the exact same thing for AMD? Now, obviously, AMD does not support CUDA, but they have their own compute system called Rock'em. Which AMD GPUs support Rock'em? Well, your first search might take you to this page. It is from the Rock'em repo, Hardware to Play Rock'em, officially supported GPUs. Okay, this looks like what we need. GFX 8 GPUs, we have all of these. GFX 9 GPUs, okay. GPUs that are enabled, but which AMD does not officially support, okay. GFX 7, iGPU with AMD APUs, okay, fair enough. But you realize at the top of the page, this file is obsolete. Please refer to the Rock'em documentation at docs.amd.com. Okay, it's probably out of date. This was last updated. It says last year. That's actually a lie because the update last year was, uh, <laughs> was to add the deprecation notice. The real last update was 2019. And between 2019 and now, there have been some AMD GPU releases. So let's go to the page it says to go to. And this doesn't take you directly anywhere. It just sends you to the information portal, which is... An answer, but I guess it's not very useful. Let's instead search for Rock'em supported GPUs and let's see what we get. Ah, hardware and software support. Maybe this is what we need. It was last updated last year. Okay, should be fine. Well, hopefully there is a table here that lays out every GPU supported, which versions are supported, which functions are supported, and things like that. Let's have a look. So, we have supported GPUs, GFX 9 GPUs, CDNA GPUs, RDNA GPUs, GFX 8 GPUs, GFX 7 GPUs. Wait, but like, is it the entire line that's supported? Or is it just these specific cards? It says, such as these cards, but is every Polaris 11 card supported? And which version of Rock'em is supported? Which version is this documentation for? There's no indication of that. So is it every version? Is it the latest version? I don't know. But it does say, for a list of supported GPUs, refer to the latest version of the Rock'em release notes document. It doesn't link me to that, but when I search for Rock'em release notes, it takes me to the GitHub. Let's search for supported GPU. There's nothing here. So is it these cards? Is it some other cards? What cards is it? But it does say for a list of supported GPUs, refer to the latest version of the Rock'em release notes document. It doesn't link me to that, but when I search for rock and release notes, it takes me to the GitHub. Let's search for supported GPU. There's nothing here. So is it these cards? Is it some other cards? What cards is it? So it's very clear to see that what AMD is doing with their documentation is vastly inferior to what NVIDIA is doing. There is no question about that. Try and argue that point with me. Now, I am not the only person to notice this, and I'm definitely not the first person. Right now, there is an open issue over on the Rock'em GitHub, and this has been open since last year. Which devices are even supported? HIP slash Rock'em. I am a long-time CUDA developer looking to explore Rock'em and HIP development, but finding out which hardware even supports these tools is harder than it needs to be. At the time, this was even more confusing. So nowadays, the README is relatively simple. There's not really much here. But back then, that wasn't the case. This is the README from when the post was made. And we are just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and still scrolling. Yup, yup, 
some of this does not need to be in a readme, but it is nonetheless. So, in this case, let's see. This repo's readme has a section on supported GPUs. And this said, Radeon Pro V620 and W6800 workstation GPUs. But it does say, extends Rockham support for those GPUs. So, extends implies it supports other GPUs as well. So maybe the FAQ has more info, and it does. It says, for the AMD supported platforms, refer to the HIP programming guide. So that would be this file right here. It is 95 pages long. All right, let's have a look at the table of contents. There is, hmm, AMD platform, maybe. And okay, maybe that's the only one, AMD platform. Not very useful. Let's search for supported GPU. Nothing. Um, supported device. Nothing. Supported platform. Okay. So if it is somewhere in here, it's not showing up with the obvious search terms. But there is a compiler option which gives some hope. AMD GPU dash target. So maybe that's going to help. The problem is this is deprecated, and if it's deprecated, it likely means that what's listed here is out of date, but it has been replaced by offload architecture, so maybe it's that one. Okay, let's see where this takes you. This takes you to a dead page, so that's not helpful. Forgive the sarcastic tone of this issue, but am I an idiot or is this documentation just abysmal? If I want to know which NVIDIA GPUs support CUDA and which features, all of that information is readily available in many places, as in the page we looked at just before. I've been looking for an hour and found nothing official about AMD support for HIP, so I quit. Hopefully creating a GitHub issue will lead to an answer to this trivial question. Honestly, I would have given up way, way before that, but maybe this person needed to do it for like work or something like that. Now, surprisingly, the user did get a response from a Rockham team member. We are sorry you are unable to find the information you need on the documentation portal. Please refer to the Rockham installation guide and the latest version of the Rockham release notes, 5.0 at the time, and let us know if they were helpful. If there's specific information you need, please let me know and I'm happy to help. AMD Rockham documentation team, which kind of reads like an AI generated message, but yeah. So the first link basically doesn't contain anything of use. It'll tell you how to set it up. It'll tell you the versions of Linux that are supported, but that's not very useful for finding out the GPU. As for the other link, this one is the actual release notes on the AMD website, which are separate from the release notes on the GitHub. For why? I don't know, but it is what it is. And this does have a list of GPUs, some GFX9 GPUs, some RDNA GPUs, and CDNA GPUs, and it's in a nice table, so it's very easy to see. But there's a problem here. Is this all the supported GPUs? Is all of the GPUs that used to be supported on this page here no longer supported? Do they work and this is still just extending the list? I don't know. All of the products indicated above have a multi-thousand dollar price tag and or are not even being manufactured. The original question was very specific. Which AMD GPUs support Rockham and or HIP? And even though the documentation isn't saying so, there are definitely other GPUs that support Rockham. This user here is using an AMD Vega 64 card. That works fine. This other user here has an RX 6800 XT, which also works. So it's clearly not just the list being provided. Now, one user points out that with Rockham, it's not just as simple as this card supports Rockham and this card doesn't. So here is my understanding. Rockham is a software suite with compilers, runtime libraries, accelerated numerical libraries, AI related libraries, and more. Support simply means given hardware are validated at AMD with the whole Rockham stack. So if something isn't validated with the whole stack, users may just need a subset of the stack 
for their purpose. That is why some Rockham unsupported hardware works in limited scopes, like that 6800 XT, like that Vega 64, and probably a bunch of other cards as well. But following this, the OP comes back with a solution to all of the documentation woes, a table. Now, this table is an example table, not necessarily how it would actually go down, but you could have this function is confirmed to work. This function is untested. This function is not working. Someone suggested that you should probably have a fourth category as well, having a working category, so it's working, but there might be some issues. Now, even though this documentation has been basically broken for over a year, this is still pretty much the state it's in today. But one user did try to address this. His name is Benji T. Beng T. Beng T. I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to go with Ben GT. That seems like the least ridiculous way of saying it. And this user, they did something that AMD couldn't do. They made the documentation in a form that is actually useful. This was first started on May 17th. Build support table for packages on repo.radeon.com. And this went through quite a bit of revisions and quite a lot of discussion, just trying to work out how it should be structured. And eventually, some people from the Rockham team did get involved and were like, hey, this is a good idea, but we need to go through management. We need to get this up to the standards of internal AMD documentation. And that's totally fair. So it kept going and going and going and pretty much kept going up until the end of last year with December, with the last change on December 30th. But then it kind of just sat there doing nothing until March 17th of this year. Our documentation is moving in a different direction. The concerns raised here will be addressed in a different manner. That was two months ago. They, at this point, have not been addressed in any way. Seven months of work, basically complete documentation thrown in the trash to do something else. Why couldn't this documentation be used as like a stopgap until that better option is available? Like this is so much better than what was already available. But nope, nope, not gonna happen. And of all the times in history to have your compute library not being well documented, right now is a pretty bad time. Everybody is talking about AI, machine learning, all this stuff, and the documentation as it currently stands lists eight enterprise level cards that most people are not going to buy. Maybe they get one on sale from like an office sale, they're like clearing out some old stock, but that's the only way you're really going to get your hands on them. Otherwise, you're just going to buy an NVIDIA card if you're really interested in that field. I don't know what AMD is doing. It seems like nobody really cares about the Rock'em team. Nobody really cares about Rock'em. And it's just like, well, let's just have this thing here in case anyone wants to use it. But if you want to use it, uh, work it out yourself, I guess. And if you look at the open issues, there is a not insignificant number about card support and whether cards are going to work. Will there be support for the 7000 series? What to do with my extra 520? Is there going to be support in this version for a thing that was rumored? RDNA 3 support? No one knows what's going on. So maybe something is being missed and there is this perfect documentation out there that nobody is aware of. I can't find it when I search for Rockham supported GPU, so if it exists out there, most people probably don't know about it either, but I'll pin it if it exists, and uh, yeah, if you happen to use Rockham, let me know how the experience is, I guess. What card are you using? Is it a card that's not on the supported list? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video, and if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to Libera Pay, linked in the description down below. That's gonna be it for me, and this is one of the rare times where NVIDIA is actually good on Linux.